Call this November 28th Jackson County Commission meeting to order have our roll call. <coughs> District 1, Mr. Guffey. Present. District 2, Mr. Venable. Present. District 3, uh, Ms. Gilbert. Present. And District 4, Mr. Sisk. <coughs> present. Chairman also present. Okay, we have a quorum present. Uh, we'll have our invocation by Mr. Porter and our pledge by Ms. Gilbert. Lord God, our Father, we are reminded of our blessings. We look around us to see the abundance that we have, the, all of the things that we have that uh, make our lives comfortable and, and, and good to live in this county. We're so thankful for those, and we're thankful to you for the blessings that you bestow upon each and every one of us, individually and as a community. So continue to watch over us and guide us and direct us every day. Forgive us, God. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the first item is approval of the agenda. We have nine items on the agenda. <coughs> Are there any changes before we proceed? We have a motion to approve the agenda as presented. A motion. Motion, we have a second. I second it. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those say no. Okay, we have no order presentations. Uh, no one signed up to speak. Um, we have no minutes from our previous meetings at this point. And no old business, so we'll move straight on to new business. And the first item is the motion to approve the hiring policy. Uh, this is policy that we discussed at the last work session. Uh, a provision has been added uh, to state the administrative functions referred to in, in uh, the paragraph authorizing those administrative functions shall be applicable only to positions on the county organizational chart that has been approved by the commission and funded in the budget. So um, it does clarify that those, this applies only to those positions which have been vacated. Uh, if a position does, has become vacated, of course, um, the commission can always decide not to position if, that, if that's uh, what they choose to do. So uh, any questions or comments on this before proceeding? Do we have a motion on how we want to proceed? I think motion approve the hiring policy. Do we have a motion to approve this policy? Do we have a second? I'll second that motion. Okay, do we have any discussion, further discussion on this item? All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. As opposed, say no. Okay. Next item is a motion to approve the property insurance provider. Um, we have not received the auto quotes yet, and I'm going to let uh, Mr. Manning kind of explain this, how the process works. Uh, we may have another month kind of to, to determine that before an additional decision will have to be made. A decision does need to be made tonight regarding the, the property insurance. Uh, but I'll explain how we would move forward. <coughs> the uh, two proposals you have in your folder are the same ones that we went over in the work session for the property insurance. We do have the quote from ACCA on the automobile and the equipment insurance. Where we do not have the quote from Harding yet on, on the automobile. Uh, the one that's uh, up, up for a renewal on 12 1 is our property. So this, this is the one that's in your folder today and as the uh, we think we'll have a quote from uh, Harding possibly tomorrow where we can compare the auto rates with the auto rates we have from ACCA but uh, they just couldn't get them over here to us today um, the in regard to the rates I did get a notice that the, the for Harding the uh, cost there went down an additional three percent which is about eighteen hundred dollars um, so you can again, compare that to what we're looking at. Um, based on how it's done again, in December, we could make a final determination. If any changes were to be made, uh, we could vote to, to, in other words, if we get auto back and the total cost is less, we could vote to move to that package. For the auto insurance? Where right. You could, uh, the one that, you now with the, your property insurance, if you do not take their property insurance, you cannot take, or they will not cover your automobiles. Vice versa, correct. But, right. So uh, that's that's the determination you're looking at tonight on the two proposals for property. We should get it tomorrow from Homer. 
We should. We need to. We have to vote on something tonight. Outside of voting to write out, the only thing, the other option that I could think of was to give a contingency uh, if Harding is within a certain percentage that we set. Um, you know, on the total package that we, you know, we could give that uh, benefit as 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 usually the bid law. This doesn't fall under the bid law. Can I make a motion to accept ACCA's bid? Stipulate unless Hardings comes in within for the five percent that the county five percent of the cost of the cost it requires. Oh, let's can we discuss that for you for the motion on the table? Well, I, I mean, I'm yeah. just asking him if we can do what, it. What? What's critical tonight is property. Property expires in December 1. So we're talking about a couple of days. So what you have to make a decision on tonight is property and casualty. So if you vote tonight to take the low quote, which is ACCA, I think. That's correct. And then all that binds you to is, AC, which is clearly lower of the two. Sometime between now and the end of the year, uh, you can compare the two auto policy quotes. And then if the, the local provider does substantially cut um, the, the premium on the auto, then you can then you can agree to, um, well, actually the auto doesn't expire until <coughs> April, something like that. Yeah, April 1st. You don't, you don't technically have to do anything until then, but uh, you at least have the end of this year to compare the two and make that decision. Because as I understand it, ACCA really wants to start their policy if they renew the auto policy on January 1. Mm -hmm. So they said they would give us one month free premium on the on the uh, property. property. property so okay. all you have to do tonight is, if you want to approve ACCA, and, and if you do that, and then at a later date, if you don't approve ACCA on the auto policy, then they will give us notice of cancellation or they'll refuse to They'll, they'll, they'll terminate it on their own terms at some point, and then you have to go back to the local provider at that point to get the property in the, in the other. <coughs> so, either way. Did you say you did have the vehicle quote back from ACCA? Yes. And how did it compare to last year's company? Uh, yeah. The, and that's, uh, yeah, that'll be March. Is, is it March or April when that renews? It, I believe it's April 1st at like 12.01 a.m. is when it renews. So, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it'd be comparable to what we had previous year on that. So we don't have any kind of grace period on this. That 12-1, I mean, we don't have a grace period if hard works come back in or something. <laughs> on this one you're talking about? Yeah. A decision does need to be made tonight yeah, because yeah. It, the only other option would be to call an emergency meeting right. uh, for the 30th because we have to have a, yeah. a well, policy we'll, in place for the We'll program. go ahead and uh, accept ACCAs on the property tonight. Uh, Mr. Porter said if Harding does come back and it's considerable savings, when you combine both, then we, we can, can, we can do something we different. Can swing yeah. back. And then, I, then another thing to keep in mind, excuse me, on the, but it, it would be in the, if you did elect to go the other route, then you don't accept their property, then you're not accepting their auto either. Right. So you're gonna yeah. lose you're gonna lose property and auto. So it would be in our best interest to go ahead and accept. Well, I'm just saying that's need. that's the way it's. Pause some more time. That's the way it's uh, it's written. So. Okay. My question: the policies. Is there any penalty or lapse? Like if we cancel one, so many days, do you can take it back? Do we know any of that, or is there anything in the policies? What do you uh, mean? Yeah. Like if you canceled it. Is there like you can't a coverage not good for thirty days, ninety um, days when you re up? There's nothing like that. Uh, it would be with the way the ACC is doing. Again, I would think that we would have until January because that's when they're wanting to get their policies in place. Correct. Okay. Um, I think either way, we probably have that thirty days. So we wouldn't have to worry about a uh, lapse in coverage. We would have a. But yeah, as long as we choose something tonight, then, <coughs> then you know, come January, if the change is made, um, you know. we don't have much choice. I mean, we got to go with this route here to, to move forward. Kind of like Tim's in, and then we can yeah. come back later on. We'll get some other uh, final. Right. When quotes local there. provides us with the numbers, yeah. yeah. We already have our automobile with ACC that right. Yeah, Meadowbrook. With, yeah, with Meadowbrook. Yeah. But it's umbrella. Right. Yeah, and what and Meadowbrook well, when ACC <coughs> takes that coverage over, Meadowbrook will be their administrator, but the insurance will be through ACCA. So with the the 
protect the uh, clerical part and, and the administration of it will still be handled by the same people, which is Meadowbrook. I make a motion to accept the ACCA bid on the property insurance. I second. So you have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on this? Uh, as soon as we get that, we'll try to get the information out on the comparison and then determine, you know, uh, if, if there is a low rate, then we'll compare that and determine how we need to move forward from that point. So we have a motion and a second to approve the ACCA bid for uh, property insurance. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. uh, opposed say no. Okay. okay, next item motion to approve the generator maintenance contract. Everybody yes, okay. Um, again, this is an annual contract. Uh, the reason we've asked this to be approved is we want to do a full performance um, or the full uh, the full service uh, on these two units. It's been uh, a few years since we've done that, so I'd be recommending that we do a full service on it this year. Any questions or further questions or comments on that? Now, the full service is different from the page we're quoting on the front. That is. Um, I believe you have that is full service. <coughs> it's got no, a date. The first service is on the second page. Second I'm talking about the Gilbert right there in each time. Yeah. If I mean, Jason was looking at it, I guess they've done a few things that they didn't put out and specify. <coughs> well, we may have called them from time to time if there's an issue um, for, for some of those you're looking at some of these other costs. Uh, that 511 16 and other service sort. These other ones should be contracts that, uh, yeah, I'd call that one was the right there. Yeah. So the recommendation would be to go with the, the full service on the back page or on the back of the page. <coughs> yeah. Okay, we have a motion to accept the contract with the full service. Uh, we have a second. Oh, sure. Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Okay. Uh, next item, motion to approve the county park change orders. Okay, as discussed last week, we have uh, several change orders that are outstanding. Um, they change orders 8, 9, and 11. Questions or comments on these? What was the other? There was one we discussed last week at that meeting. Um, at the electrical mm -hmm. at the, um, at the office. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was an end contract to begin with. Okay, was that <coughs> number 11? Uh, $2,700, $2,800. And it was cheaper than it would have been oh, yeah. overall. They left it out completely because there was some question on well, what we were doing. All we're going to do now is just run a line or under to the office and instead of me. I mean, that's, that's good. If they went the other way, it would have had to go on the two rooms and tied it back into the master. Yeah, tied it back into the master. Okay. Any other questions or comments on these? Does anyone see that one, the one that had the power? I think it's on this one. So any any other questions, comments? There's a motion on how to proceed. Make a motion to approve. Do we have a motion to approve these change orders? Any other or do we have a second? Second. Second. Any further discussion on these? This should get us up to date on the change orders we have in place. And again, several of these same things that we had uh, mm -hmm. looked at. We had last week, Mr. Venable and Mr. Sis were there. Uh, and things going pretty good, so hopefully they won't be. You know, <coughs> <more. laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. As opposed, say no. Okay. Uh, next item is regarding the appliances for the Jackson County Park. Uh, we have your 
notes from Tom's uh, details for the other appliances. Uh, any other questions on this board received? Mr. Lord, do you have anything else? Uh, uh, we have a motion to. Well, if, if, if y'all approve it, I just gotta have it paid for by tomorrow. Oh, uh, for the price. Right. For the price guarantee. We have a motion on how to move forward with this. Motion, motion. I'd like to make a motion we accept it. Stated there. Motion, we have a second. A second. Okay. Any further discussion? And I'm assuming we got with uh, uh, engineer and other or architect and others some questions about the. Uh, Let me see. Yeah, yes. I sent them everything that you sent me on the web and had I diagrams and measurements and everything. I so, hope that was sufficient enough, but it, it wasn't in any money. Maybe they've got one in stock that we can get to two shows. Okay. Anything else? We have a motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed say no. Okay, next item, motion to approve the senior RX employee uh, contracts. Uh, again, the two contracts to be updated um, for these two employees. Do you have any questions or comments on this? The motion to approve or to add a move forward with these items. Motion to approve contracts. Motion, we have a second. I'll second that motion. Okay. Uh, this uh, one contract is for the directors of three year, the other one is through September 30th, so that will have to be looked at again near the end of next year. And uh, we need to look at the funding for that uh, organization when we, when we review that. So, any other questions or comments? Do we have a motion to second? All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> Okay, next item is regarding a uh, recommendation for the <coughs> IT position um, and recommendation for that position here. Uh, I did two sets of interviews for this uh, process and uh, the individual that was um, rec is being recommended. Any questions or comments on this? I have a motion to approve. I make the motion to approve. For the recommendation, Mr. Jones, do you have a second? Second. Okay, any questions, further questions or comments on this? Explain that just a little bit. I take a bit. Okay. And, and I do want to clarify, on the job description, I want to include this, and if, you, if we could amend the motion to say uh, 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 IT director, it's a small thing that says manager on here, but you care to amend your motion and I'll second that? Motion, but, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so the IT position uh, has been determined as a necessary position due to the uh, change in technology. Um, we've had uh, a lot of issues over the past several years. We've been working and contracting with several different entities to try to help us with those issues as well as uh, folks within the courthouse doing our best to try to uh, handle our problems you know, when it comes to our, our phone system, which we use over IT, uh, computer systems. Um, the uh, networking uh, in general, all of our sites are networked uh, to this location. And a lot of times we have issues with the folks we contract with to get them here in time. So to have someone on site would make it uh, give that response time, uh, give us a better response time. In addition, we have 24 hour service and the uh, dispatch when there's an issue there, we need someone that can respond to that immediately. Um, and, you know, from, from security systems or security uh, software on our computers to security on our servers. Uh, there's just a wide range of things that are necessary uh, for us if we're to move, you know, move forward and, and maintain our our uh, internet system. So um, again, we discussed this at budget time. At that time, it was determined that it was necessary to to have this position in place. Um, there <coughs> is a demand from industries. Uh, within our community to have uh, better protection on our services. So, again, so this person is going to be fully qualified for all these positions? Yes, this person, yes, the, as the, the job description states, they have uh, uh, the minimum requirements as far as education, and they're almost finished with actually additional requirements as far as education goes. Um, every budget uh, was spending some money on contract services through IT and stuff, so it's going to save some off of each other. It won't right. fully cover the the expense, but it'll go a long way toward covering the expense of an IT person. 
Yeah, we were. I think last year we were looking about twenty to twenty-five thousand um, dollars. And some of these contracts are still in place because, of course, our IT person will have to establish and understand what systems we have in place. Uh, but once that's done, I'm hoping that we can cut um, cut most of. We've already cut. We already cut a couple of those last year, didn't we? Okay. So far, uh, as far as having to go back like you have in the past, this right here is going to take care of that. You know. Yeah. All right. Actually, if I could, you mentioned it would uh, cutting those contracts would almost cover it. It'll, it'll more than cover it if you take into account we're going to put it in my budget, which is a pro rata share. So, so whatever the stated salary, I don't know if you got that in front of you, you're only responsible for 15% of that. So you take 15% of that salary and then all the contracts, all the entities are paying all the the commission office, Victor, who, whoever, me. I so each contracts. one of the offices is going to be paying yeah, it. We, we pay right now a lot more than what right. the pro rata share is on that right there. Okay. Good point. Probably uh, come out ahead of the game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. By doing that. Well, this person is a regular classified employee, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That makes it sound much better, too. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be familiar with the city <coughs> instead of somebody having to come in every right. time. Right. And, and Jeff, you might should be able to share more of the issues. We, we've done a lot of work over the past two years with uh, with our maintenance crew, especially in trying to upgrade and update and clean up our systems. But there's still a lot the, that the needs big, to be done. The big issue was the big eye opener was we've always needed an IT uh, manager or director or whatever. But the big eye opener was when Google come in. You know, Google come in and they met with us, mm -hmm. and their data that Will house is not public record. So they just, they sat down with myself and Mr. Hodges and I don't remember who, maybe Bob, I don't know who was in that meeting, but they, they come in and sat down with us and they wanted to make sure that our system was secure. So at the time we didn't have, we don't even have a firewall. Uh, can you not put that on, on camera? <laughs> they got too late. <laughs> too late. No, seriously, we don't even have a firewall right now because uh -huh. we don't have anybody to manage it. So, so if, if Google's going to come in and, and do this, we, we have to have this stuff in place. That's an absolute need. <laughs> yeah, we've been like this right there. I'm in my motion with the recommendation. Okay, motion. Uh, so we have an amended motion to approve this position as the IT uh, director uh, and approve approve the recommendation and second. Second, Mr. Guffey. Any further questions or comments? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. aye. As opposed, say no. Okay. Can't we survive it long without it. <coughs> Next item is a, a motion to approve opening a temporary position for personnel department. We discussed this last week. Um, again, this is something as we head into January uh, when this time will be needed. There are several projects we need to try to complete. Uh, if we approve this tonight, of course, we'll have to submit a recommendation for a name. And uh, the term is a six-month uh, uh, term employee. And again, the focus for that would be to help us get through some of the uh, uh, projects and policies that need to be done over that uh, time frame, along with a lot of the requirements that are coming up for our um, federal requirements for taxes and things like that in January. So questions, any further questions or comments on that? I just like to say I do see a need for this. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when we first took office, you know, we had a temporary. Uh, we done without it for a couple of three years, and you know, what we had a what a twelve week stretch there that we lost six employees or six month no. stretch. We lost well. I mean, that's a lot of hiring and a lot of um, redoing the paperwork. And, and I know that uh, Michelle's gotten behind on some of the required stuff that needs to be done for the first two years. So I'm in favor of it. Any other questions or comments? We do have we have a need in a lot of places for additional uh, 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 personnel. Um, hopefully, this will take care of a, this problem, and we can look in the future for other uh, some other solutions. Um, do we have a motion on how to proceed? Make the motion approve. Motion. We have a second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Further discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, opposed, say aye. <coughs> Okay, the final item is a motion to discuss community correction letter support. You all have a copy uh, first of the letter support that is done annually for our community correction service. Um, I believe everybody, I've tried to give everybody a brief update of, of how we're involved and, and maybe go maybe a little more depth into that point. But uh, this is something that's required uh, uh, by DOC, DOC annually. Um, 
for community corrections. You have in there, in addition to that, a letter that I would like to submit as a recommended letter to go with this letter of support, uh, recommending that, um, or saying that uh, along with this letter of support, we are able to uh, conduct an audit um, of those services provided just to ensure that uh, both the county receiving the necessary, do necessary dollars that they uh, should be uh, through the law. So you can take a look at those uh, letters and any questions or comments we have on that. Just uh, as a comment, if, if you approve the conditional uh, provision, uh, it'd be my recommendation that the letter of approval be amended to reflect that it is conditional. And it is not a wholehearted endorsement. Um, just that the conditions are in there. So the, the letter of support be amended. Yes. Okay. Yes. Questions or comments? It says in here a 90 day period, and then we would go over the audit or whatever, discuss that. So uh, it would be, yeah, the, the, the letter of support and and do, do we think that'll be enough time for us to... Well, uh, th that was a, in talking to the auditor, he thought that would be enough time, but you know, you still don't have, if you did it today, you still don't have the holidays, and yeah. so it may not be quite enough, but if it's not, it would give the commission the option to extend that time. Okay. It's put a deadline on it from our standpoint. <coughs> Excuse me. But then we can go back and review our letter. Right, yeah, if, if the audit uh, is still needs to take place or you know, something still needs to be done, we can extend extend right. that. Since it is a condition, we apply it. Right. Right. So we're going to change the letter to state reflecting the. Yeah, if we if we make a motion to approve, then we would want to amend it. To what you say to be conditional on right. they get all the documentation to us right. within the 90 days. Right. You would want the letter of approval to match the the conditional letter. So that they're the same. I'll make a motion. Okay, we'll have a motion to approve that with the change, correct? Approve right. the, the letter of support with <coughs> that uh, <coughs> change to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a second. I'll suck it. Okay. Any further discussion on this? Uh, if this is approved, we'll meet in the morning to, to share this. And I know they've been waiting on this letter, so I'm really glad to have that. We'll discuss if there are any other things. If there is anything else that comes up uh, from the community correction side, we'll bring that to the commission at the next work session, which will be next week. <coughs> uh, any other questions or comments? We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed, say no. Okay. All right, that concludes the items on our agenda. We'll move on to our report. <coughs> Everything on our agenda. I believe we are at a regular meeting next week, correct? Uh, plan to meet next Monday the 5th at 4 30. You know that Scottsboro's parade, isn't it? Is it? Mm -hmm. five what, five. what time? Five o'clock. Mm -hmm. Nine at five. Oh, the parade starts at six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I, I just went to use the time frame. I mean, it was, that was a good <coughs> deal. Just a minute. Okay. Everybody's good. We'll continue to with that a little bit. Uh, so with that, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion I'll second. second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.